Tucson Police Department's community service officers respond to minor traffic accidents and other low priority calls. The city's 40 CSOs are not police officers. Instead of carrying guns, tasers, or handcuffs, they have collapsible batons and pepper spray. CSOs have begun patrolling city parks from 8 a.m. to midnight. Homeless men at Santa Rita Park on the south side say they'd welcome real cops, that CSOs and their limited weapons aren't enough. Well, these people will be the least armed people in the park. 59-year-old Martin Beeman is homeless and well-armed. They have this. We have this. I have this. I also have this. Is just wrong. You know, it's dangerous and it's irresponsible. We would like to see police officers go out there and patrol the areas. Jim Parks is the head of ASCOP, the police union, with 2,600 members statewide. Frank Green spent 32 years in TPD and was a captain when he retired last year. Parks says he's heard concerns from cops about the new program. The concern was put in these uh, community service officers out there that are untrained into an environment where they could get themselves injured or, God forbid, killed. What these guys are upset about is that we can hire a CSO for less than half of what it costs uh, for hiring a cop, including their, in, including their benefits. This is an absolute budgetary uh, win for the city, for the community. Councilman uh, Steve Kozacic and his colleagues unanimously approved the city's park ambassador program. The year-long experiment will cost a half million dollars from TPD's budget. CSOs make less than police officers. CSO salaries start at fifteen thirty an hour. They're not forced to go and confront dangerous people. Uh, they're on radio, they receive training, and they have some backup support if they need them. Have you thought of putting police officers in the parks instead of CSOs? Sure. Deputy Great Chief question. Chad Kasmar says again. the park safety program is about the best utilization of resources. Remember, TPD is short police officers. Kasmar says the CSOs had crisis intervention training and will not engage potentially violent people. If they decide that they need police resources, it's just one click away from the radio to call for an officer. The purpose of these folks are not to enforce law. That's what we have police officers for. The purpose of the park safety program is to, for these individuals to be ambassadors. Back at Santa Rita Park, homeless man Michael Magazine hopes the CSOs do help make this park and others safer, but he's concerned. The people out here are, are hard-headed, most of them. And if they want to do something, this person is going to get hurt. If they don't have a badge and a gun, they'll get hurt. Going to come at me with pepper spray? <laughs> not smart. So we're not asking them to enforce um, uh, uh, or address criminal behavior within those parks. That's what police officers are here to do. While all 128 of the city's parks are included in this program, increased emphasis will be placed on the larger and busier parks. Five parks will be patrolled at a time by 10 CSOs in two-person units. They will be on foot, in cars, and this summer on bicycles. If you have a story you'd like us to investigate, email us at investigators at kvoa.com or call 955-4444. Investigating for you, Matthew Schwartz, News 4 Tucson.